Hey guys, this is Marshall from Pacific Reviews, and today I'm going to talk about the Apple OS X line, more minor features of it. Not necessarily the big tentpole ones, <clears throat> which I already went over, and they're in another video, and I'll put a link to that so you don't have to worry about that, and you can see what those features are. Uh, so, the, ne the first thing I'm going to show you guys in the more minor features is address book. Now, just before I start going to these features a little bit more, I uh, I took these features off the Apple website. There's something that shows you all the new 250 features, but these are actually ones that matter. I guess you could say ones that actually people will use more every day. Some some not that much, but mostly will. So with address books, some new stuff is you can see obviously the new look, and also you can FaceTime straight from here, which is very nice. Um, in addition to that you also get iPhoto faces so if you know you use the faces aspect of iPhoto it'll show you the uh, the faces that that person has now yes not a person is not actually a person I just created this so you wouldn't see anyone's information and here we go quit out of that next I'm talking about Apple scripts I'm not going to actually show you anything about them but Apple scripts they now have script templates and a few other features more stability and file vault 2 you can encrypt your entire hard drive there's an instant wipe feature and you can also encrypt an entire external hard drive which is really nice now I'm gonna go down to iCal well iCal there but open this up so now some things about iCalendar is you now have full screen support yay and this is really nice it looks Great. I, I still don't like the whole Apple's idea of making this look, look like an actual calendar or desktop calendar, but you know it, it looks very sleek. Uh, next, I'm going to show talk about. Uh, I guess show you too. iChat. I'll open that up. There's some new stuff to it. You can now search for your buddies, and there's Yahoo support. So you guys use Yahoo Messenger or whatever that is. I didn't. I never used it, but if you ever did, then you can now. Uh, connect that to your iChat and just go invisible here. I'm waiting for it to connect so I can show you guys. But yeah. Okay, so what you can do is you hit Command F and search for someone. No, I'm not actually going to search. There's no such person like that. But with that being said, there's that. The next thing is mail. Open up mail here. Oh, yeah. Computer saying, I know I'm doing it. Mail, there's new full screen support, and you can also view by conversations. Okay. Yeah, so you can do all that, and it is very nice to view by conversation. Come on, mail. There we go. Okay. So. apps that have full screen support will have this. So we will now quit mail. Force quit mail. My mail has always been buggy, I have no idea why. There we go. Um next we'll talk about photo booth. This is always fun. So photo booth there's new effects and uh, full screen support first time I launched it online is it automatically went to full screen so I'll be interested to see if it does that right now so let's see if it does so we can go to full screen oh uh, no it's not but I'll put it in full screen so you guys can see how nice it looks um, obviously with the HD cameras on the new eyesights on pretty much all the new computers and great my computer is lagging out because it can't process too many things at once. There we go. So there's me. Uh, eventually. Laggy computer. Come on. But uh, that's pretty much it for Photo Booth. I'm going to quit. Just quit you, Photo Booth, because you're being annoying. Force quit you. And yeah, that's. Okay, I show you. Next thing I'm talk about preview. Is preview you now full screen support and one feature? I mean, there's a few more 
uh, more features about preview that make it a little bit more professional. The one feature I found really cool is called Smart Signature, which means that you can literally hold up a piece of paper with your signature on it, and it'll it'll superimpose that into the picture using some very advanced software. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty cool and wanted to mention that. In QuickTime, you can now merge clips, and you can also export audio only. Safari now has full screen support, which I will say is very nice. Time Machine, what are you doing? There's no hard drive hooked up. Um, sorry, my computer is really buggy right now. Not because of line. just going to state that. It's because I show you tends to mess with it. Okay, yes, backup failed. I understand that. There's no hard drive plugged in. Why would you try and back up? Let's open up Safari. This would take a lot quicker if my computer would actually work. Um, so just going to continue talking while Safari might open? Probably not. Uh, Safari, now improved performance. Not really. It doesn't have improved performance. Apple always says that, but ne never does. Um, screen sharing. You now can screen share using an Apple ID, so that way you know the person you're screen sharing is legitimate. And there's also an observe-only mode. Should be nice so your friends can't screw with your computer. Uh, spotlight. There's new Spotlight stuff. You can... If you search for something, if I search for something and Spotlight works, maybe? No? Okay. Um, and if Spotlight were to work, uh, and then search for it in the Finder window, you can actually do it straight from Spotlight, which I think was desperately needed, and I actually really wish they had put that in a long time ago. And you can also search on the web or Wikipedia. Uh, terminal now supports full screen and some other features that I found really okay, I I understand that thank you time machine for messing up my video come on time machine thank you time machine leave okay well that's force quitting um, and talk about it. you can resize the window from any edge you don't have to do it from the from the side or from anything, you can actually do it from any edge, which is really nice. I mean, let's see if I can demonstrate. Yeah, you can demonstrate on force quitting applications. So you can do it from there, from up here. It's nice. And also, now there's no scroll bars. It's just, it only shows up when you actually start scrolling, which is really nice. Very similar to an iOS device. Well, that's pretty much it. This has been Marshall from Pacific Reviews. Thank you.